This is Work Together 9-1, page 241 in the textbook and 193 in your workbook. This is labeled Journalizing Purchases using a Purchases Journal. Use the current year, journalize these transactions on page 10. So right away I'm going to put in the page number, page 10 of the Purchases Journal. And we're using Purchase Invoices with the abbreviation of P. They give us three transactions. The first one is October 2nd. Purchase merchandise on account from American Tools, $1,230. So I'm going to put in the date, October 2nd, 2000, and I'm going to use 12. They tell me I purchased merchandise, and that's why I'm using this purchases journal, because it's merchandise that I purchased. If it was supplies, it would not go in here. Over here on the right, it was $1,230, and that goes to purchases and accounts payable. But I have to know who within accounts payable do I owe money to. So that's what we put in the account credited column, is that we owe American tools. And the last thing we need is the purchase number. We don't need to repeat the P because that's what the only thing that goes in this column is purchase number. So we just need 116. Ready for the second transaction on the 7th. So I'm going to put 7. You don't repeat the date or the, the month. Purchase merchandise on account from Harris Manufacturing, Inc. $480. Okay, so $480 goes in the purchases debit accounts payable credit column. Once again, I need to specify who I owe money to, not just accounts payable. And that would be Harris Manufacturing Inc. And the invoice number is 117. Then we have October 11th. We purchased merchandise on account from Kessler Supply, 780. 780. And Kessler, Kessler, something like that. Supply. This is 118. Then it says total and rule the purchases journal. Um, we rule it at the end of the month. So we'll write in 30, assuming it's the end of the month, and we'll say total. And we'll come over here, put a nice single rule in, take our calculator, and add. 1,230 plus 480 plus 780 and we get 2490 and then we double rule. And that's it for Work Together 9-1. It's your turn to try on your own 9-1.